Most Holy Mother, intercede for us so that we may well understand the teachings of your Divine Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and the explanations of the Fathers of the Church. O Immaculate Virgin, I offer you this work and ask that you bless those who hear it. And may it be for the greatest honor and glory of God. Amen. Cleanse my heart and my lips, O Almighty God, who didst cleanse with a burning coal the lips of the prophet Isaias, and vouchsafe in thy loving kindness so to purify me that I may be enabled worthily to announce thy holy gospel. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily and becomingly announce His gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew A question about Elijah And his disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the scribes that Elias must first come? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall first come, and restore all things. But I say unto you, that, Elias is come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. Comments from the Church Fathers St. Jerome it was a tradition of the Pharisees following the prophet Malachi, that Elias should come before the coming of the Savior, and bring back the heart of the fathers to the children, and the children to the fathers, and restore all things to their ancient state. The disciples then consider that this transformation which they had seen in the mount was his coming in glory, and therefore it is said, and his disciples asked him, saying, How then say the scribes that Elias must first come? As though they had said, if you have already come in glory, how is it that your forerunner appears not yet? And this they say chiefly because they see that Elias is departed again. St. John Chrysostom The disciples knew not of the coming of Elias out of the scriptures, but the scribes made it known to them, and this report was current among the ignorant multitude, as was that concerning Christ. Yet the scribes did not explain the coming of Christ and of Elias, as they ought to have done. For the scriptures speak of two comings of Christ, that which has taken place, and that which is yet to be. But the scribes, blinding the people, spake to them only of his second coming, and said, If this be the Christ, then should Elias have come before him. Christ thus resolves the difficulty, he answered and said, Elias truly shall come, and restore all things, but I say unto you, that Elias has already come. Think not that here is a contradiction in his speech, if he first say that Elias shall come, and then that he is come. For when he says that Elias shall come and restore all things, he speaks of Elias himself in his own proper person, who indeed shall restore all things, and that he shall correct the unbelief of the Jews, who shall then be to be found, and that is the turning the hearts of the fathers to the children, that is, the hearts of the Jews to the apostles. St. Augustine. Or, he shall restore all things, that is those whom the persecution of Antichrist shall have overthrown, as he himself should restore by his death those whore he ought. St. John Chrysostom. But if there shall so much good arise out of the presence of Elias, why did he not send him at that time? We shall say, because they then held Christ to be Elias, and yet believed not on him. But they shall hereafter believe Elias because when he shall come after so great expectation announcing Jesus, they will more readily receive what shall be taught by him. But when he says that Elias is come already, he calls John the Baptist Elias from the resemblance of their ministry, for as Elias shall be the forerunner of his second coming, so was John the forerunner of his first. And he calls John Elias, to show that his first coming was agreeable to the Old Testament, and to prophecy. St. Jerome he then who at the Saviour's second coming should come in the truth of his body, come now in John in power and spirit. It followers, and they knew him not, but did unto him whatsoever they would, that is, despised and beheaded him. St. Hilary of Poitiers 
as he announced the Lord's coming, so he was also to foreshow his passion by the example of his own suffering and wrong, whence it follows, so also shall the Son of Man suffer of them. St. John Chrysostom He takes the opportunity from the Passion of John to refer to his own Passion, thus giving them much comfort. St. Jerome It is inquired how, seeing that Herod and Herodias were they that killed John, it can be said that Jesus also was crucified by them, when we read that he was put to death by the scribes and Pharisees. It must be answered briefly, that the party of the Pharisees consented to the death of John, and that in the Lord's crucifixion Herod united his approval, when having mocked and set him at naught, he sent him back to Pilate, that he should crucify him. Rabbi Morrow From the mention of his own passion which the Lord had often foretold to them, and from that of his forerunner, which they beheld already accomplished, the disciples perceived that John was set forth to them under the name of Elias whence it follows, then understood the disciples that he spake to them of John the Baptist. Origin. That he says of John, Elias is already come, is not to be understood of the soul of Elias, that we fall not into the doctrine of metempsychosis, which is foreign to the truth of church doctrine, but, as the angel had foretold, he came in the spirit and spirit of Elias. We have reached the end of another day of comments on the Gospel that the Holy Church proposes for us to meditate on today, using the Catina Aurea. Thanks so much for following along. I ask that, if possible, subscribe to the channel, comment, like and share. May Our Lady reward you for this act of charity. And see you tomorrow, with God's graces. Please. Oh. Uh -huh.